Let's talk strategy. So many of you have probably written strategies. You've had experiences of being on the receiving end of other people's strategies. You've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly of a strategy in your career, I'm sure. And we could all agree that when a strategy goes well and it's implemented well, that's often more unusual than when it's unfortunately not. And often I see that with a lot of the enterprise CEOs that I work with and larger businesses. There's a strategy there, but it's never quite what the C-suite team hoped it would be. It's certainly not what the business needs it to be. And it's failing in many, many ways. And maybe failure is the wrong word, but maybe it's just kind of limping through rather than being an abject failure, which is kind of, I think, a little bit worse. Anyway, what I came across a few years ago was a fantastic framework for understanding what goes wrong when you're trying to implement a strategy. And by looking at the symptoms of what's going on, you can understand really what's missing in terms of the parts that need to be there to implement and create a strategy and to push a strategy forward through an organization. Because if you think already about what a strategy is at the highest level, it's change. It's creating a change within the organization. Something new or different has to happen to meet a new, different type of goal. Let's look at this then. So we've got this simple strategy here. Now, if you watch my video from a few days ago or um, you'll know that there's two, two types of people that we talk about. There's the visionary, the folks who are laying the tracks in a particular business. They have the vision, they can see the future. Then you have the folks who are running the trains who need to put everything in place to make sure that that vision comes to fruition. And of course, you need both of those two things in an organization, right? And if you look at this diagram, you can see that the visionary stops at one part. Now, often what I see with a lot of CEOs is they'll assume or try to take on the ability to, or think the vision is enough effectively for the organization to be pushed forward. Of course it's not. The vision is never enough on its own. You need the skills, the incentives, the resources, and the action plan to make that happen. And you can see on the right-hand side some of the symptoms that come from the pat when one of these things is missing, or more than one of these things is missing, right? The most obvious one there is that having no vision is you get confusion. People don't quite know what they're working towards. Again, I see it's symptomatic as larger organizations who don't quite have leadership there who's, who've got that strong visionary muscle. And by the way, you can strengthen that muscle. But also in other ways, you can see where these other feelings come from, where anxiety comes from. It's a lack of skills. Well, we haven't got the skills to do this strategy. We're going to feel anxious about this. There's going to be resistance because there's no incentives there. If this is going to make my life harder or more difficult. I've got to work more hours. It's not going to be there for me. Or even this is just going to have to change the way I work and there's no incentive for me to change, then why would I change? What incentive have you got for me? Yeah, maybe it's better on the other way, but it's kind of a J-curve of challenges before we get to that point where it's going to dip and be hard before the improvements come. There's no incentive for me to get through that dip. So, hey, I'm going to resist this. Maybe not obviously, but I'm going to have a bit of um, lethargy in terms of putting this forward. Frustration means there's lack of resources. You haven't, you're not spending the money. You've not given people the time to fully go through this. And then act, no action plan. We're not going to have a full start. It's not going to go anywhere. So you can see how this really simple model can help diagnose the bits that you're missing from a particular strategy. I would love your thoughts on this. Tell me, what are your thoughts on this? I know there's a lot of folks out there in the change management world who follow me. What are your thoughts on this from a change point of view? If you're a CEO or a leader, what have you seen? Have you felt any of these things? As an employee, have you felt any of these things on the right-hand side, any of these red things on the right-hand side? I'd love to know. Have you ever experienced one of those green ones at the top where everything's in place and the strategy just works? I would love to hear your feedback. Drop me a comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks very much for your time.